they said it was a red oak tree. And they said it will probably end up being the biggest tree in the whole park. This tree is the newest addition to the Gulf Shore Sportsplex. And this is just a small thing that the city is doing, but to us it's a great big thing. Johnny Harris says it was planted today in honor of his son, 19-year-old Nate Harris, a former Gulf Shores quarterback and Troy University walk-on with a bright future. The teen was on his way to his grandparents' house when he died in a motorcycle wreck three months ago. The community devastated, and now they're hoping this tree will help the healing process. There's no telling how many hours that we've spent here and that he's been here. Um, yeah, he's just a part of this field. It's a tree that will last generations, growing large and providing shade for others. His father says it's a perfect symbol of Nate's character. And built on the fact that he was a leader and a man of character. And he meant so much to the school, uh, to, the, to the kids that he played with, to his teammates, to his, the students. They, they all loved him just like we love him. <laughs> But more than anything, Harris is remembered as a man of faith, and in a couple weeks, this plaque will go in front of the tree with a paragraph from a scholarship submission Harris wrote a year before the accident. I'm proud to be an American, a Southerner, and an Alabamian. His father read it for us. More than ever, I've seen how things don't always go as planned. <clears throat> Injury can change things so much in sports, but God is always faithful. I don't know what the future holds or where I will be this time next year, but I do know it will be exactly where God wants me to be. I'm sorry. I think that's his legacy more than anything. And we're told that plaque will be here in time for the September 2nd game against Spanish Fort. That game will also be a special tribute as his parents retire his football jersey. For now reporting live at the Gulf Shore Sportsplex, I'm Devin Cabero for Fox 10 News.